Hey guys, so today we're going to be making a money farm in Theme Park Tycoon 2. But the only thing about this money farm is it's actually going to be underground. So that means you're going to have this entire space to build your park on. Oh, and also this money farm will not use any gamepad. So let's get started. So you need to start by making a little bit of dough if you haven't already. So just make a little quick path over here. Just build one station like this and put an entrance here, exit here, and then have a path here. And we're gonna build a few of these. This is just for us to generate some income, but trust me, once we get this going, it will be working fast. Oh, and also one more thing, make sure you go ahead and set the ride trains to one. Cause for instance, with this coaster, if we try to go ahead and place one down, it'll say, cannot create ride, train too small. So all you gotta do, go down here, set it to one, boom. Wait, I did that wrong. And boom. Okay, so right in between all of these, you're just going to place some food. And this should be a good little micro farm to generate you some money. So now what you're going to want to do, open all of these rides up. And place some trash down because these people will just litter everywhere. These people are literal vermins. Look at them. Literally, they've entered the park and they're just throwing trash down. JV on, you will pay for this. Okay, so now that you have this done, save about 100k cash if you can. And we're going to get started on our main farm. So right next to this right here, what you're going to want to do is just go all the way down like that. Like boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. And then go one over over here. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my gosh. So we should have a big pit sort of like this. I'm gonna go one more out actually. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just have a little spiral staircase sort of like this all the way down. We're not gonna connect it just yet because the guests will come down here and we don't want that. Okay, so now that you have this path done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go all the way down here. So I'm gonna turn off disable collisions just to show you don't need any game passes to build this. Okay, so now that we have this first row of paths done, we're gonna make a second row of them. So something probably like right here. Now what we're gonna do, go all the way down like this. Oh, now we're gonna build our first layer of coaster. And they're gonna be all along this row. So what you're gonna wanna do, build it back like this as much as possible. So like that. Because what these coasters are going to do is they're just going to go up and then back. So like this, watch. Just like that. Perfect. Going to place the entrance here. Exit goes here. And one coaster is done. Now let's make our next one. I think I'm going to go with the hydraulic one. One here. And then we're going to build it up like this. Oh, nope. That killed everybody. Wait, this should work. There we go. Entrance here. Exit here. And I'm going to do it all the way down this pathway. Make sure you use different rides because you get more people that want to come to the park if you do. Oh, and we're also going to use some of these two roller coasters, so stuff like this. Just make sure your coaster isn't going across this line. Okay, so I have basically this entire thing done now. I'm going to put a path right in between all of these. Now what I want you to do, just spam tons of different food areas, all of that, right in between here. Should be right where the exit is on each one of these. Also, make sure you put important stalls like restrooms. You can also put some souvenir stalls. We should probably add some trash kids around here. Also, add some seats as well. And if you have the extra money, make sure you put some props back here. Because, uh, basically this boosts all of the ride's ratings. So just go like this. And if you have disabled collisions, you can actually put multiple in each one of these. So, yeah. So now what I want you to do, go ahead and set all of these ride prices to 32. So, 32, 32, 32, 32, blah, 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 blah. I'll just cut to when I get it. Boom. Okay, now I have a model of 32. Now what I want you to do, test all of them to make sure there's no crashes, and then open it. So like this, just like this, all the way down. All right, they all look to be working. So the next thing we're gonna be adding are some flat rides, and they're gonna go all along this wall back here. And we don't want these flat rides to be too tall. So what I want you guys to do is place a little pathway here, and just have a path that goes all along here. So like, we're gonna put a carousel here, just like that, some teacups. I'm just gonna turn on disable collisions for this. You can just carve out some terrain for it. Put a twister, fireball looks to be a bit too big this looks to be a bit too big as well oh some space rings oh these do really well i'm gonna place one of these here we're gonna actually let this one go a little bit higher which is gonna be an observation tower let's put a gravitron here 
Oh, and also you can just remove some paths for that. Put another twister here and a plane rides. Make all of these 32 as well. And we're gonna open these as well. And then right in between all of these, put some like stalls right here. So just all along here, we're just gonna put stalls and boom. Oh, and then like in some empty spaces, just put some props, cause why not? But like, if you don't have a lot of money, I recommend not doing this. And if you need more money, just sell the props and place them back once you start actually opening stuff up. So right now, if you want to, you can go ahead and open this up so guests go through, but I don't really need the money since I got a ton. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is delete this pathway right here. So the next step in our journey is we're gonna go ahead and build a path upwards like this. Put a pathway there and then just all along here, go all the way down okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some track all along here so to make sure our coaster doesn't go over any limits i'm gonna go ahead and install the first layer of grass right here and we're gonna be building our second layer of coasters now okay so just go ahead and place a coaster right here and now what we're gonna do is just do what we did before just make sure that each one of these work so we're gonna go ahead and build even more coasters all along here Okay, so all the coasters are now done on this second layer. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna test and open all of them. And also set up the price. 32. So 32, test, open. 32, test, open. 32. Okay, we're good now. Okay, so now that we're good, I'm just gonna delete all these. Okay, so we're gonna put food stalls right in the middle of here. All along here. So there we go. We have food stalls all up here. Actually, I'm gonna replace two of these with restrooms because I didn't put restrooms. Make sure you put those. Now we're gonna need seats and then some trash cans. Okay, so now what I want you to do, delete a few of these. And the ones that you did delete, put a pathway up like this. I'd say about three blocks in front. Okay, what we're gonna do with this last little bit is we're gonna put some more flat rides here and we're gonna put in some special rides that will uh, even attract more guests. So we're gonna put a little log flume here. God, I'm gonna turn on disable collisions real quick for this. You guys can carve out the terrain for that stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it off. Next ride I'm gonna put in is a dark ride. These are really, really highly recommended. Guests love these. And make sure you spam props around it. Okay, that should be good. Okay, I'm gonna put another twister here. Why am I talking in game? And we're gonna also put in a train right here. Train goes here. And I think I'm gonna try to fit in one last little water ride right here. Oh wait, I can't. So we have a few more things to do before we're done with this muddy farm. One, we gotta put a queue right here. So we're gonna open this ride, open this ride, open this ride, open this ride, and open this ride. I'm gonna put like some grass all along here because this is apparently scenery. So just put some grass fences around. Make sure you're not blocking any pathways. I'm gonna go back and like fix all of these. So delete, 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 delete. So in all this empty spot, you're gonna wanna place some props here. Put some here. And I think we're about ready to open up this farm. So I'm gonna start by going ahead and connecting this path up here so we can just get out of here. Our next thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna head and top all of this off turn off disable collisions now so you're just gonna want to spam grass all up here and boom you wouldn't even know there's a money farm down here look at that it's completely gone so there's a few ways you can hide this if you have disable collisions the easiest method is you can just go right here and do that i highly recommend this game pass you get tons of stuff with it but if you don't i have a little thing for you we're gonna build a little building right here i did a tidy little layout change so this layout change just extends this one back so what we're going to want to do now is we're going to make a little brick surrounding area. So we're just going to go like this, all brick. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put a little door right here. We're going to need to get poles on either side of this door. So there's going to be a little gap down here, but there's nothing you can do about it. But look, you can see they're walking through it. And we're going to decorate this real quick. I actually accidentally did this with disabled collisions. So let me delete this. We're going to make this really tiny. You guys are going to see what I mean. So you're going to want to put roofs here. And then what we're going to want to do, make this like a green and then go down, go to grass, paint it grass and we're just gonna make it look nice now so i'm gonna put a little bit of wood up here just to kind of give it a little bit of texture so something like that and we're gonna do some roofs now so i think 
maybe a roof sort of like just like that this will look nice and then what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna go to facade I actually place that we're just gonna go like this like that now what we're gonna do we're gonna just place a little window here for detail just like that and then on these outer ones place these sort of windows and just for night time to give it a little light I'm just gonna put a, a lantern right here and I'm just gonna put like these little things right here alongside it so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and paint this I think a nice little brown would look good on this there we go and then for the roof i think that looks good and then for these little pillars they should be a darker brown oh and just for consistency sake make sure you add a middle one on each one of these actually let's go ahead on this little thing we can just make it go up like that on either side there we go i think this side also needs a little bit more theming there we go that looks pretty good and then we're just gonna paint these last little things and we're basically done there you go so now people just walk into this building they say nothing and boom and we could also destroy this let me just destroy this real quick so this is probably my best money farm tutorial you will probably once this farm is completely done never need to touch anything robux related in this game unless it's a game pass like this game is virtually a sandbox for me now it's really easy to do we already have over 113 players in here and this park alone is over four stars and if you like today's video and you used it make sure to smash that like button down below anyway i'll catch you guys in the next video bye bye